question is how to create a carrier sweep. <laughs> well, there's people that are that have been in the Rife community for a while are familiar with doing sweeps using a fixed carrier. The problem with this is that the carrier is providing a strong signal at a fixed frequency for a long duration and that can cause damage. And so we've created a carrier sweep. To create a carrier sweep, you select File and then Create Carrier Sweep. It explains at the top how carrier sweeps are superior to modulation sweeps, which is what a fixed carrier sweep is all about. We change the carrier rather than the modulation. And in doing so, we move the powerful frequency across a range of frequencies, so it's not fixed. Okay, uh, temporary carrier sweep. I'm going to set the parameters for the carrier sweep here. The center frequency is the frequency which is going to get the most power. Let's say I've got a cancer. And so I'll choose the cancer frequency, which is 1.604 megahertz. I'm going to apply a modulation frequency. You did notice that the picture at the bottom here changed. Each spike represents where the power from the signal is going to be deposited. And so this is the carrier area, sorry, this is the cancer area here. And so it shows that there's a lot of power. The top of that um, spike there is where the carrier frequency, sorry, where the uh, cancer frequency, which is 1.604 megahertz. You'll see that there's a harmonic up here of um, 3.208 megahertz. This is because the uh, waveforms have got harmonics. And there's one further up and it goes up, but each time it goes up, the strength of the signal is reduced. So you want to put the power where it matters. If I decide, if I wish to have a broader range here, I increase the modulation. If I go to a 25 kilohertz modulation, you'll see that the power is spread out further now. And so there's a dead spot here, but it, it spikes again at the cancer frequency. I leave the frequency tolerance as it is, and the same with the application time. 300 seconds, that's good enough for me. Six minutes. What you'll see in many Rife manufacturer sites is this waveform something similar to this, and they'll show you how much power they have over a very wide area. What they do is they show the power in the logarithmic scale. We can do the same. We can show how wonderful Spooky 2 covers every single frequency from zero up to infinity <laughs> and beyond. But this isn't honest. The logarithmic scale um, makes the very small signals seem very powerful. And so, yes, we've got the option there, but the default is showing the more honest way of representing where the power goes. There will be some signal even between the, in this area here, for example, but it's so weak that it's ineffective and shouldn't really be shown. But I guess for the sake of sales, we should be showing this, shouldn't we? <laughs> we can enter notes here, so I can, uh, I can say it's my first carrier suite, exciting times. Okay, so I then save the program. Am I really sure I want to save it? Yes, I'll give it a go. Now here's that long delay again whilst the um, frequency database is being loaded. Maybe while this is loading, I can go through again the websites that we have. Now this is still the downloads page. If we've got a access to our forum here. If we click on the forum, tab here, the form will load. For new users, you register here. 
and you read these terms carefully, agree to them. Now please remember, the Spooky 2 forum, like everything that we do, we like to be open and honest, so please enter your real first and last name here. We, when we have chats within the forum, we like to know who we're talking to, and so don't give yourself a, a random name. Use your real name, your real email address, and choose a good password, and then join our forum. The forum is wonderful for learning um, how to use Spooky2. We've got a huge membership now, and these people are here to help and to share their knowledge. Okay, Spooky2 has loaded the database again. So if I search for Carrier Sweep, you'll see that our Carrier Sweep has appeared. Now I won't make the same mistake twice, I'll clear the loaded programs. You clear it by clicking on this button here, that's got a sweep there with a cross, uh, a, uh, a broom. So you click on there, you double click on the program that you want to run. Now this is the program that we've just created. It's, the notes here are shown, the settings, let's have a look, application time, dum, dum, dum. settings, choose a square waveform with a wave cycle multiplier of 1, I recommend that you use maximum of 20 volts for the amplitude because it's again the power being used across a broad spectrum, but if you're using something like Spooky Central, you must use an amplitude of 5 volts and an offset of 100 for both output number 1 and output number 2. You can see the waveform has changed. Allow generator overwrites, choose the generator channel that you want to use and press start and the sweep is started automatically. Now there's further instructions in our user's guide, you'll see that output number 2 is fixed. This is our modulation and it's the carrier that's changing. So it's a good way of uh, preventing a fixed, carry, a fixed frequency being applied to your body for any length of time. Again, this is kind of an advanced question. If you don't understand it, it's okay. We've got more information in both the user's guide and other literature that we have written. The other literature is in the download section of spooky2.com. So I'll go back to there. And in the downloads page, you'll see that there's the user's guide and other very useful information. You've got the full packages, software, and the software guides. So user's guide in the different languages. The frequency, the uh, frequently asked questions is a very good document to download because new users will need to know how to, um, well, they've got common questions, so these are answered. 